Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, it's me on a Friday night, and um, I am bored as fuck. Well. Uh, we had the barbecue going on out there. Everybody's pretty much chilling, and here I am making a video. <laughs> okay, so um, this video is for some of my 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 friends far away. Um, it's a tutorial on pidgin language. So pidgin language is one of the slang languages that we use here in, in Hawaii. Um, I'd say it's native to this island because it was created here. Um, it dates back to the plantation days when um, a lot of foreigners were migrating to Hawaii um, for work. So there was a whole different like a mesh of different ethnicities here. We had Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Filipino, um, white, and Hawaiians all mixed up in the plantation. And they're, the only barrier they had was, you know, the fact that they couldn't speak to each other in their in their in their language. However, <clears throat> some, I mean, like. Like all things in life, people, if they need to get something done, they will find a way. And so they did. And they created a new language, and it was called Pigeon Language. So Pigeon Language is like a mesh of all those those ethnicities in one. And it's still used till today. I mean, they still use it. And it's an awesome language, honestly. I like it. And when other people hear it, they think it sounds pretty cool, too. So I'm going to share with you some phrases of our pidgin language here in Hawaii. So <laughs> I have a cold, so excuse me, you might say born when those are written on them. But anyhow, <clears throat> the first phrase that I'm going to teach you is the kind. Okay, now anyone from the islands, anyone who speaks pidgin language will know the kind. Okay, the kind you can use for anyone. The kind you can use for, I mean, like if you're having a conversation between you and your friend or you and your family member and you don't want everyone else to know what's going on or who you're talking about, then you would use the kind. So an example would be this. Ra, uh, you seem the kind. Um, no, the kind. And your friend would be like, the kind. Oh, that's right, the kind. Yeah, 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 I seen the kind earlier. Why, what's up? Because. Wow, the kind. How come she's so the kind? Don't you like that? Shit. What's wrong with her? I mean, you're gonna be like, I don't know. She, the kind is the kind. You know, she's, she's the kind sometimes. So, the kind is not just used for a person, but it can be also in regards to how they, they conduct themselves or they, the way they act. The way they act. Um, act is another local slang. <laughs> act. Act, A-C-K. Or ACT, you know, in English. But um, that too, that's pretty. That's a pretty used um, pigeon word as well. Act, no act off. Why are you acting like that? Why you gotta act so stupid? You know, act ACK. And another um, word that I like to share with you is um, bra. <laughs> okay, so like I see this on Facebook. B R U H. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I know I know where we come from. We use bra, bra for everything. So bra you can use for your pro and girl. You can use regarding one boy. You can use regarding one mahu. It doesn't matter. You can even say bra to your cousins, your auntie, your uncle, your mother, and your father. Sometimes it's used as an emphasis, like bra. How was that? Bra. My day was so bad. How was yours? Bruh, let me tell you what, it wasn't good at all. Bruh, seriously? Yeah, bruh, so lame. Bruh, I tell you, I wish the day was over. Bruh. Okay. So, the next word, I guess, the next pigeon word I'll share with you is, um, hmm, light out. Okay, light out. Light on? I mean, it's exactly how it sounds. Like that. 
like that in English. In Hawaiian pidgin, it's leda. Ra. Straight leda. It's it's just leda. That's how it is. It's leda. Yeah, it's leda. They just leda. Leda. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. So they leda. Yeah. Leda. Shit my head, bro. Leda. <laughs> okay, so let out. <coughs> the last word I think I'd probably share with you tonight is one of my favorites, and that's because I'm about to <coughs> go eat dinner. <laughs> okay, it's called broke the mouth. Okay, broke the mouth is more of an emphasis on something that you're about to eat or you're going to eat. Normally, people would use it after they ate it, and they know how it tastes. So, I mean, an example would be, do you ever went to Malama Market's um, poke shop over there in Makakilo and ate their poke bowl? Bruh, this thing is so broke the mouth. I mean, it is broke the mouth. Good. Broke the mouth. Oh, no. Especially since they put brown rice. If you ask them for brown rice, they're going to give you brown rice. They're not going to just slap on the soggy white rice. I'm not down with the white rice. Especially if it's soggy. I like the brown rice because it's a little bit more firm. And plus to the fiber, right? So anyways. <laughs> the poke bowl at Malama Market is broke them out. Oh no. Mom's Korean barbecue I'm about to eat is broke them out. Oh no. Broke them out. I'm telling you. Oh no. Okay, them out. <laughs> um, oh wait, baby, I have one more to share with you. Just one more, one more. Okay, so the last word that I'm gonna share with you is cracks. <laughs> okay, so um, cracks. You can use. I mean, when you're having a conversation about any type of, of, you know. Physical beat down, yo. Okay? So, like, an example of that would be, bro, if you keep yapping off your mouth and keep talking shit, you gonna get cracks. Yeah. Because your mouth is so stupid that somebody gonna crack your mouth. Dude. Watch out. That person gonna get cracks. Mm -hmm. Cracks could be any, as long as it's any kind of physical form of aggression, you know, you use cracks. <clears throat> or if you can get smack across your head or something like that, or getting lickings. So yeah, cracks. Basically, you gonna get lickings. <clears throat> cracks. So that's my pigeon tutorial for you all tonight. And I guess we can go and recap everything. So one. Well, I'm not gonna go in order. The kind. Light at. Broke them out, bra, and cracks. <sighs> have fun with those words, guys, and I hope you have a safe and wonderful Friday evening. Be safe and one love. Peace out, later.